<laughs> yeah, this is what you wanted, right? <laughs> ah, I'm just monkeying around. <laughs> Let's actually get started on your pipe. <laughs> this is too funny. Alright, so uh, first step here, we're going, I've got the, uh, the pipe um, rough cut and I'm gluing it to a base that I can then throw in the lathe so I can round out the, uh, the stem lead, um, if that's, that's what I'm going to call it, um, your intake for your uh, mouthpiece. So I'm, I'm going to first do this guy, cut him, cut him out on the lathe. So to put him on the wood lathe, I need a, I want a base piece. So I'm putting out drilling these screws with this base plate is going into this guy and not going into that. <laughs> so. Yep, yeah, that's the uh, that's the general shape. Uh, this one, this sample piece that I ordered, um, um, is going to be. It's I wanted a more straight angle since the mouthpiece, uh, since the stem, is going to be a straight piece, not have a curve like uh, uh, some of them do, and how this one was designed to have a, a curved um, mouthpiece uh, stem. So I'm making this angle less than this angle. Uh, so it works out with having a straight mouthpiece. So while this is gluing, let's go ahead and round out our stem and make make our uh, our mouthpiece stem. All right. Uh, here's the uh, the stem mouthpiece, and uh, I've got. Uh, Turned it in from a square to a to a round stick that's uh, got a little bit of a taper to it. Uh, this will be the end where you stick in your mouth, and this will be the end where it meets up with the uh, the pipe piece. So uh, at this point, I'm just uh, fine tuning uh, my taper uh, and and get it to the uh, the length or the right uh, right diameter that I want. And uh, and then I might put a couple of little decorative uh, notches in there, just uh, just for some flair. And then I've got to figure out, I've got to do um, the stem, the part of the stem piece that uh, inserts into the pipe. So I've got to do that on this part here, figure out what that uh, what that diameter needs to be and slowly work my way towards that. Alrighty. So I got that done on the lathe, and boy was that scary as hell. So now, because uh, uh, in the fact that it's unbalanced weight-wise, this big chunk sticking out on this side and nothing on that side. But anyways, now we're going to go ahead and drill the main hole here for the tobacco that the, the tobacco goes in. So this is the rounded nosed uh, bit that's for your router and I put it here in the drill press so that I can get an accurate straight down because my handheld router is not a plunge router and I need the plunging for making this hole. So yeah. <laughs> so this is what we're going with. Alright, let's uh, see if I can get the bowl shape on this uh, pipe. A little 
more rounded out. So the uh, wax on the buffer, here's a, here's a polishing um, compound on, on this guy, I use that one first, then, uh, then I put some Danish oil on the pipes, uh, pieces of the pipe, and then use this guy to kind of bu you know, buff that into it and, and pick up what, what extra. So I didn't have any high or low spots, and so um, I taped the uh, put some tape over the uh, over the friction fitting piece so that I don't change the profile of that. Um, and now the white compound. It's still got a little bit more polishing to go, but uh, it's pretty getting pretty shiny and uh, looking really good. Look at that grain. Look at that wood grain. Isn't that nice? Yeah, Stevie's going to love this. And here's this guy. Yeah, so a little bit more polishing, but uh, it's getting there. So I know Stevie would have been totally content with this for a pipe. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, no, uh, here it is. Here is his pipe that I made for him all finished and done beautiful dark walnut um, got a nice little decorative gold ring around the uh, <coughs> the uh, insert for the stem for the pipe stem uh, I first made a long one thinking that uh, with his massive manly beard that uh, you know a little more distance from the bowl would be better but then I, when I used it and uh, smoked, went ahead and made sure it properly functioned well, and went ahead and started uh, started the process of of seasoning the bowl and charring the inside of the bowl, uh, which creates a great protective barrier uh, and keeps the bowl from constantly getting burned and or getting super hot when when you smoke. Um, that's that's how you you season the bowl by getting a decent char ring uh, on on the inside. So then I made a smaller one. I decided to make a smaller one. Uh, this he he he's getting both, and I got O ring seals on there to you know just help act as a uh, as a nice uh, air type uh, seal as well as um, kind of filling in a little bit that gap that's on the bottom because I was I admit I was a little impatient uh, on drilling the holes super perfect <laughs> so it it's it's custom in the fact that is not a hundred percent perfect I did not have a um, the machinery that uh, actual pipe makers have <laughs> I used what I had and then did the best I could and I gotta say you know for not really ever making never making uh, having made a smoking pipe I would say I did pretty darn good um, again not perfect but pretty darn good so um, yeah 
I'm super happy with it, how it came out. Stevie is already stoked because I've, you know, been back and forth with him a little bit on specifications and and looking for his preference. Uh, so yeah, he's totally stoked to get it. Um, so he's got the two stems, short and long, in the bowl, and they'll have they have their own carry pouches here. And then on top of that, and I told him. If I'm going to do this, I'm going to go out, all out. He's, he's going to get the full deal, the full package, the complete package. So I picked off of Amazon uh, one of these uh, bags. That's They label it as a toiletry bag slash makeup bag slash uh, utility bag, whatever you want it to be, whatever you want to put in it. It's just a bag. So it's kind of like triangular shaped. Um, and, and it's plenty big enough to fit uh, the pipe and and it stems and uh, a small a bag of tobacco like this can drop in there um, it's got a little sleeve inside here that you can put your lighter uh, or matches in there separately so here I'm, I'm gonna throw in some tobacco uh, some pipe uh, slash uh, cigar matches and those fit in there nicely so he's got that. His pipe cleaners uh, can go in there. They won't go in that little pouch, but they can go in there as well. This, these pipe cleaners are for cleaning out the uh, the extra ash that might have accumulated inside the bowl part of the pipe. But uh, yeah, so nice little storage bag, and this is actual buffalo leather, and it's got a zipper pouch on the outside, so he can even put you know some things in there. He can, uh, the pipe cleaners will fit in there so he could separate those and have those in there he could put more lighters more matches whatever whatever he can he can put whatever in, in here this is his um it's got a little ringy doohickey thing on the inside i don't know if he's gonna want that or he could even cut that out if he wanted to down nice and close if that's annoying to him he can certainly cut that out but uh, again i'll let that be his decision because it's his um, nice little tabs on each side so you can attach it to whatever, however, carry it in whichever way you need. But yeah, nice little bag, inexpensive. Here's the bonus. Here's the bonus. I made this. It's got a nice little closing clasp and it opens it up and look what you got. You got your um, prep board, so a nice flat uh, surface to prep your tobacco. For smoking, you have your little cork knocker so that um, when you've smoked all of your of your tobacco and you got a bowl full of ash, you knock it on that, and that'll dump everything out without uh, marring up uh, the the top edge of the pipe. Um, and then on the other side is this this hole is the cutout for the for the cork knocker. Um, but it has all of your accessory pieces, everything you need. So here's your uh, little your tool that has your little poker, has your packer, and your uh, um, bowl scraper. That's a three-in-one tool, and it's uh, cut out. This was a whole lot of fun. I tell you what, with the hand router, uh, doing it by hand, trying to get everything. And well, I mean the simple round holes here. I, I use Fostner bits, but uh, but this one and this one and this one. I used the hand in the hand router and hand routed those those uh, holes out. Uh, again, not 100% perfect, but pretty darn close and super happy with it. These are uh, hidden barrel hinges. Uh, first time using them. Uh, these are small ones. They're itty bitty. I think 10 millimeter. Um, but they're nice and sturdy, and they work really well in in keeping a low slim profile to the board. Um, these are your uh, uh, filters for going down into the pipe bowl to your initial filters to keep the ash from going up through the pipe. They are held in here to get as, as a pair. Um, I put a magnet right here in the center so they actually hold in there via the magnet. So how cool is that? Uh, this little guy and these are um, little metal aluminum uh, pieces that I picked up at Hobby Lobby for a buck got a pack of like 20 of them or something like that or 10 um, 
and they're just on little swivels. These are your uh, filters uh, for in the actual pipe stem to make sure that you don't suck up any of that ash. Um, they're uh, so that they go like that to hold all those filters in there. Uh, this is your little cleaning brush uh, to clean the ends of the ends of these of these guys. Uh, you can use it to clean brush brush this guy off. It's just a nice little utility brush um, for cleaning your pipe and pipe items. These are your silicone uh, pipe stem mouthpieces. These go on the end that you put your mouth on. Uh, really strongly suggest using these with the wood uh, so that uh, it just helps pr add a protective barrier against the wood. But they're mainly for even with your acrylic uh, pipe stems. Um, they're nice to have st if to prevent you from chewing the hell out of your pipe stem. Some people are chewers, some people are not. Um, so yeah, it's just nice to have these um, and protects that. And here's this guy so you can pull out your tool your trio tool and yeah so this is the whole kit and caboodle everything you need right here in this board and by having these guys it keeps everything in these are kind of just friction fitted um, so, uh, with the silicone so those those stay there pretty darn well um, without needing anything to help hold them in and yeah so that's that's that so this is uh this is all for you Stevie the complete package I have you totally set man um, I'm gonna include a lighter uh, let me see I just messaged you actually just a couple minutes ago on Instagram to see uh, what color you preferred and you haven't answered me. When I get an answer from you, because I want to keep one <laughs> and give you the other, um, but the, these are just lighters from Racetrack. But the key, the the, the important thing is, and I and I like these. Um, these are made actually. These are not um, Bix. These are made by the lighter company called um, Clipper. Clipper lighters, which are more known for having that cylinder. Um, uh, what do you call it? The the round shaped cylinder shaped one uh, that's kind of like uh, your lip balm, um, like your chapstick uh, shaped tube. Um, uh, these are I saw these at the racetrack uh, because they're I like how they're slim and they also have a nice large um, striker thing. Uh, I like how they're a large. You know, large piece for if you got big hands, you know, large thumbs. It, they're really, really easy to to uh, ignite, uh, and it, and they don't have the wheel. Um, some people don't really don't like the wheel. So, but yeah, they're made by that Clipper brand, and so I picked up a couple of those. Uh, I like the shape, so the f for the sake of the fact that it's slim for going in the bag or whatever. Um, or he could probably dump it inside of this thing if he wanted to in the middle part. Um, up to him. I'd probably put it in the bag. But anyways, yeah. So I was going to give him one of these and, and include one of those. But the, but the important thing is, is that these are not regular lighter fluid. And you don't want regular lighter fluid for pipe smoking. You want... Um, your butane. Butane is odorless and doesn't affect the flavors of the smoking tobacco. And that's the key. So these are refillable with your with butane and you also don't want a torch lighter. You, you, your torch lighter you'll end up burning my... You, you'll burn the pipe. You, you'll torch, torch the pipe no matter how careful you are. You want that soft yellow flame. Um, and the way you and the way you do it, I'm going to include uh, some links to some excellent uh, videos of some, uh, you know, more knowledgeable and vastly far experienced pipe smokers on how to uh, light, how to pack your your pipe, and how to light and get it going. Um, I, I thought about doing a video myself, but I'm like, you know what? I'll just link the ones that I thought were really good that I watched, um, and throw those in the link. Or in the description part 
uh, down below. So Stevie or anybody else interested in all this, uh, check those links out to those guys who are uh, real experts compared to me. Um, and so yeah, that's what I got for you Stevie. Uh, it was a really fun project. Uh, I needed something to fill up my, the time that I had for the week that I was not really working but one day. Uh, so it gave me something to do. Again, it's not 100% perfect in my eyes, um, but uh, not too shabby, not too shabby. And I really hope he appreciates the, the whole kit. Um, so yes, you're welcome, Stevie. I was more than happy to do this for you, and it gave me as much joy as I hope it gives you uh, when you get to use it. All right. I personally am going to stick to cigars. Pipe smoking is a little is a lot more work. I was going to say a little, but no. Re realistically, honestly, from my perspective, it's a lot more work. You definitely are babysitting it uh, and constantly fiddling with it. If and, and a lot of people have fun with that. A lot of people really enjoy that. Me, not so much. <laughs> not so much. So, um. Yeah, I mean, I I got a inexpensive pipe to use uh, a dirt cheap pipe to use as a, as my um, template, and um, and so I've got that, and I've still got some tobacco left. So I suggest I got some t some tobacco that was not really, I mean, it was like a standard flavor tobacco, not not any specific flavor, and it ended up being really spicy. This is the uh, the Captain Black. Uh, gold. Um, it's got a lot of spices in it. Um, it's it's got those oaky, uh, hickory notes to it. Um, uh, and just a hair bit of sweetness when you first start off, but then as you go, it 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 just was really a lot of spices. Um, and and lost the sweetness, uh, and which is not what I favor. Uh, I like a lot of sweetness and not an overpowering amount of spice. So my recommendation, Stevie, or anybody else, is if you're a flavor person like me, uh, if you like your drinks to have flavors to it and not just be a standard run-of-the-mill type uh, you know, hard liquor, um, go with the cherry, go with the chocolate, whichever one uh, you favor, uh, get something with some flavor, some sweetness to it uh, to help balance out the spice. If you like spice, then all by, by all means, go with spice. This one's pretty spicy. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so that's it. Uh, that's what I got, and I'm going to get this guy packaged up and in the mail at the very beginning of the week. Uh, it's uh, Saturday, uh, the Saturday before Easter weekend. Um, so hopefully he'll get this, well, if I get it out by Monday, he'll get it by Easter. He should get it by Easter. Um, and hopefully he'll be able to throw out a video, uh, an unboxing video and, uh, and first time smoking, uh, his brand new homemade custom made by Urban Woodsman tobacco pipe and tobacco kit. All right. That's it. That's all I got. I'm out. Peace.